Before we reformed the Board of Behavioral Health Examiners, Arizona was known as the worst state in the country to be licensed in social work and counseling fields. It bore that reputation for a reason. I'm a licensed professional counselor in the state of Arizona. I have a private practice and have been practicing psychotherapy for a little more than a decade. Um, when I was transitioning from being an LAC, licensed associate counselor, to an LPC, licensed professional counselor, I ran into some difficulties. Things were inconsistent. Uh, one LAC would submit paperwork um, and have it submitted, and another one uh, would submit the very same paperwork, and for some reason um, something would be caught and, or looked at differently, and then that person wouldn't get licensed. Over the course of the years, I, and months and years, I understood that really successful practices all over the country couldn't get licensed in the state of Arizona. So it, it meant that we were at a shortage. At that time, I was working for Devereux, Arizona. I was working for uh, in the foster care system. And so we really, really were at a shortage of good clinicians um, to treat children who were at the most fragile. And to not be able to complete a process that lasts years um, really made it difficult. So to not be able to finish the process, the transitioning from an associate to a professional counselor, allowing independence of practice became really frustrating. Uh, in my particular case, I had to hire an attorney for one sentence of a standardized contract that was a nationwide contract, as a matter of fact, vetted by lots of attorneys. Um, so it became not only um, a loss of income because of time, it became a, a, a loss of income because I had to spend money in order to be able to be licensed. I approached Nancy Bartow. Uh, she's actually been a, a, a friend of mine for more than 35 years. And uh, we were just having coffee and I expressed to her the frustrations that I was having. She had been quite supportive of my process over the years. So I bent her ear for a while and I actually gave her the names of some other people who previous to me uh, had also had issues so that she could get an understanding, not just my complaining. And um, what she did was put together an incredible committee. And uh, what I had, I was overwhelmed when I watched the actual hearing. Um, seeing a line of, of clinicians from all over the state of Arizona, uh, treating all kinds of populations, standing one after another, giving their testimony about the frustrations that they too had um, suffered at that time. And um, Nancy just set about putting things into order. I have heard from others that the state of Arizona is the most difficult state in which to become licensed. On the one hand, I think it's a good thing that the Board of Behavioral Health is strict, that they are um, trying to make sure that a clinician will understand the importance of documentation and following the rules of ethics, all of that. However, that is not what was happening. Nancy Bartow became part of the solution. They are on a, um, a, a timeline, they have more accountability, and so it, it's just really become a whole lot easier. Nancy Bartow has a way of connecting to somebody so that you feel that you're being heard at a human level and that she has a style that, that just kind of puts politics over here. There is more work in progress. Learn more at nancybartow.com. And thank you for allowing me to be your voice at the State Capitol.